Hi guys, it's ASBYT and today we're talking about the latest leaks and rumors regarding the Pixel 4 and 4XL, the latest and greatest smartphones from Google, the upgrades from the 3 and 3XL from last year. So in this video, we're gonna discuss exactly what we know now regarding design, specs, price, release date, etc. And why potentially the Pixel 4 and 4XL could be some of the best smartphones of 2019 period. So without further ado, let's get straight to it. If you're new to the channel and love everything tech, news, unboxings, reviews, then make sure you hit that subscribe button and ding that notification bell so that every time I post a video, you are notified and can stay up to date with all of the latest tech. Right, so the Pixel 3 and 3 XL from last year had some incredible features, but they also had a few things that were a little bit less than impressive, you could say. Now, there's not a massive amount of confirmed information right now, so a lot of this is conjecture, so bear with me. Conjecture? Is that the right word? Either way, I like it. Right, so firstly, very quickly, we may as well get this right out of the way because Google themselves leaked it, and that is the rear design. We know what it's gonna look like unless they're massively trolling us. And I said this last year, I hope they were, and, and, and they didn't. If they did this year, again, it would be pretty awesome. But let's for right now assume they're not trolling. We know it's going to have a rear camera in this square design, very similar to what we're expecting from the iPhone 11 as well. Who came up with the idea first? Keep me out of it. But of course, if you get similar colors in the two devices, they are going to look I would imagine pretty similar. So that rear camera setup looks like it's going to have three camera lenses. It's gonna have the primary camera lens, which could quite easily have a very similar sensor to what we have currently now in the Pixel 3 and 3XL and 3A and 3A XL as well. According to most rumors, the secondary lens will either be a telephoto or a wide angle. I personally would love to see a wide angle lens, but again, let's wait and see on that. And we may see in the third lens either a flicker sensor, which is currently incorporated into the single lens on the Pixel 3 and 3 XL, or we could see a time of flight lens, which will help, of course, with bokeh, depth effect, all those wonderful portrait shots. Now, staying with camera, there's been a very recent leak of potentially a real game changer, which will make it even better than it is right now, and potentially gaining another edge on its battle with the iPhone. It's apparently meant to come with better color capture than any Android phone currently on the market, capturing images in the P3 color gamut instead of sRGB. And this leak has come from a line of code which has been discovered by the guys over at XDA developers. And this in the past has very much been a software issue with Android devices, not the hardware. And it looks like now with this line of code, it is going to improve that color capture for the Pixel 4 and 4 XL. Again, nothing confirmed obviously from Google, but it's looking very, very promising. Right, so next up there has been a very recent render of specific color choices we are due to see with the 4 and 4 XL. And if this is correct, we're gonna see a black, a white, and a sort of mint green looking color, which is an interesting choice. You're either gonna love it or you're gonna hate it. Let me know in the comment section below which of those you are. Now, very briefly staying with design, I'm not gonna dump on you complete speculation because we really haven't, outside of certain concept designs, we haven't really seen what the front is gonna look like. What I personally feel is gonna happen is a punch hole cutout like we've seen on the Galaxy S10, for example. But again, I'm not gonna delve any more into that right now. Now, in terms of dimensions, expect to display on the standard four to be in the ballpark of 5.8 inches with the XL version to be in my sweet spot for a smartphone around 6.3 inches. Now in terms of launch slash release date, every single year pretty much it's been October for the Pixel devices. I can't see for any reason why it would be any different this year. It always comes generally a few weeks to a month after the release of the iPhone. So again, unless we hear anything else, set your clocks for October. Why would you set your clocks? <laughs> Set your calendar, I have to put a note in your calendar. We'll get there in the end. Now, in terms of price, do not expect it to be as low, of course, as the 3A and 3A XL, for example, because that would completely cannibalize the market for these. Expect more towards what we saw last year, but of course, if they can produce a much more visibly appealing device, because let's be honest, those who decided not to buy the 3 and 3XL last year, it was probably down to that front design. If they can change that, then expect 
a fantastic phone and probably a price to boot. Right, so next up is kind of Pixel related, but it's not with the Pixel phones. We're talking about wearables and the Pixel Watch. It was rumored to come out with the Pixel 3 and 3XL last year. It didn't happen, but there's now a fair bit of information to suggest it may be ready for the Pixel 4 and 4XL, which really does make sense. And I'm surprised it hasn't happened already, considering they make the software Wear OS for other smartwatch manufacturers that want to use it, but they don't have their own device. And if it were to happen, I'd love to see it in action, test it and review it for you guys. I've got the feeling Google are finally gonna get this thing right this year. If they can improve that front design, if they can improve the battery, keep the camera there or thereabouts without doing anything too drastic, then honestly, it's gonna be very, very difficult to see how the competitors are gonna match this device. But as you all know, what we think is gonna happen and what actually happens are two different things. And hopefully, they won't let us down on this one. So until the next Pixel 4 video, over to you, Google. Let me know in the comment section below what you think about the Pixel 4 and 4 XL rumors. Are you excited for the devices, number one? Yeah, that's right, that's one. And two, how appealing is this phone and how it's shaping up for you? Like and share if you did enjoy this video and found it helpful. Subscribe and hit that notification bell. If you're new to the channel and want to be notified every time I post a video on anything tech, pretty much daily content here on YouTube. I'll love you and leave you. I'll see you in the next one. Let's be peace out.